Well, it is an effort to provide unbiased law enforcement and fundamentalist controlled Colorado City. After a year, uh, the money is running out, which could leave polygamous community leaders without sheriff's deputies. Lad Egan joining us live from the Utah border in Colorado City. And who pays for the deputies right now, Lad? The Arizona Attorney General's office is footing the bill. They spent about a half million dollars so far, but they say that come the end of June, that money's going to run out and they don't have enough to continue. Here they think God's law. Colorado City resident Isaac Weiler doesn't trust the local police. Well, they're literally a security arm for the church. Just last week, he called 911 when someone tried crashing into his truck. They just headed straight for me with their truck. I just... Uh, floored it as fast as hard as I could, barely avoided an accident. He got video of the suspect's car. They were just speeding through a residential area so fast it was unreal. Along with the license plate number, but police wouldn't help. I thought 911, an officer or somebody would get a hold of me, and uh, nothing, not even a callback. The incident happened on the Utah side of the border. Had it happened in neighboring Colorado City, he could have called directly to the Mojave County Sheriff's Office. Starting last summer, Arizona's Attorney General allocated $420,000 for deputies to patrol the town daily before they were hours away at best. The Attorney General is asking the Arizona legislature for money to continue the program. Without it, the town's marshal's office will be the only police force in town which has been accused of discriminating against non-FLDS and doing the bidding for imprisoned leader Warren Jeffs. It's very good to have him here. As for Weiler, he hopes the funding comes through, saying the deputies provide unbiased policing. It's been important for the people here that don't feel like they have law enforcement, that they've got somebody that they can call. Attorneys for both Colorado City and Hilldale deny allegations that the shared marshal's office is biased or discriminates against those who are outside of the FLDS church. As for funding to keep the sheriff's deputies here as an alternative to the local police, Mark and Shauna, uh, the attorney general's office in Arizona tells me this is a high priority and that the Arizona legislature is still in session and they're hopeful they might be able to get some funding. Live here from the Utah-Arizona border, back to you. All right, lad, thank you.